Hello. So, after seven years of being hauled up in the Ecuadorian embassy in London, Julian Assange has been arrested by the British police. Julian Assange, the founder of WikiLeaks, um, was a whistleblower, or is a whistleblower, and he, uh, along with WikiLeaks, exposed what was happening with the elite classes and politicians in America and exposed war crimes committed by the United States of America. Now, uh, as far as I am aware, Julian Assange um, was on bail. He skipped bail and um, went to the Ecuadorian embassy in London, who gave him immunity. And that is where he has been living for the past seven years years. My question is, in the seven years that Mr. Assange has been um, living, existing, if you like, at the Ecuadorian embassy, what has changed? Because the crime he committed, um, skipping bail, he committed seven years ago, what's changed? The Ecuadorian embassy allowed the British police or MI5 or whoever it was that went in to arrest him uh, access to the um, embassy and there is a video you can see of Mr Assange being escorted out of the embassy by four large agents in handcuffs um he looks ill he looks very thin um i know that he hasn't according to the official story seen his wife and children for seven years hasn't really seen anybody for seven years and i'm sure that that would take a massive toll on anybody's mental health um but physically he looks very weak um, and one thing that struck me when I watched the video of him being escorted out of the embassy was the fact that he was in handcuffs in rigid handcuffs which are used by the police in sorry sorry uh, rigid handcuffs used by the police in the UK um, but in his right hand he was holding a book. Um, <laughs> I can say hand on heart that in all of the arrests I have made as a police officer and all of the arrests I have seen other p police officers make whilst I was in the service, not once whilst somebody has been handcuffed have they been allowed to carry anything in their hands whilst handcuffed. Um, to me that just sprang out at me and it seemed very odd. The second thing is, now I know that Julian Assange is a very tall person, I, I think he's a tall thin person, but he's not a fighter is he? He's not a, a pub brawler. Um, to me, he's more like he's an academic type of person. Did the security forces think that Mr. Assange was going to try and do a runner or try and beat them up? Is that why he was in handcuffs? Because as a police officer, it's not law when you arrest somebody that you have to give them handcuffs or put handcuffs on them. Um, I've arrested a lot of people who I haven't handcuffed. Um, handcuffs are used 
to restrain people. Um, they are used on violent people. People that you, for example, if people are very drunk and you can't really work out what they're going to do, um, then they'd be handcuffed. Somebody um, under the effects of drugs would be handcuffed. But a person like Julian Assange, an academic kind of person, um, a political prisoner, was handcuffed. And he was or unceremoniously taken out of the embassy in rigid handcuffs carrying a book. In my mind, two things have happened. The first is that the Ecuadorian embassy have been paid off or an, a deal has been ar arranged between the US and the Ecuadorian embassy to get him out of the embassy for him to stand trial in America. Um, secondly, I believe that this whole arrest scene that you can see on YouTube is staged. Um, He comes out of the embassy surrounded by four burly agents. I don't think they were police officers. I think they were MI5, something like that. He is uh, bundled into a police van. And then there are some photographs of him sitting inside the police van, smiling, um, giving a thumbs up, um, which is odd. I don't know where this is going. I have a feeling that Mr. Assange will be facing a trial in the United States of America. Um, I don't think that he will receive a fair trial in the United States of America. And apart from him skipping bail in the UK, what is his crime? He's been exposing the elite and uh, American politicians for their crimes, but yet he is the one who faces what depends where in the UK, in the US he's going to be uh, tried, doesn't it? In some states he could face execution. So that's what I wanted to tell you, if you haven't already found out that Mr. Assange is being set up, I think, for a big, big fall. Um, I hope not. Have a nice day.